Well, it appears that it has salt water damage from years ago. Elongated holes here and here. Not good. Okay. The last days, we prepared everything to glue the stainless steel support for the beams in today. And I hope we did not forget anything. So the plan is to put both angle steels under the beams today with the wooden foundations we glue in and then penetrate the beam with epoxy. We have plenty of car jacks, we have scissor jacks, hydraulic jacks, but the hydraulic jacks are leaking oil so they don't hold the pressure. Um, they're pretty much down to no pressure after a couple hours. So we have to go with the scissor jacks. It's a little more tricky because there's not so much room for them but we will probably be able to do it we did a test run yesterday and it looked quite good so yeah let's mix some epoxy so you think we are ready we will see this when we are done if you are ready yeah that's my biggest concern <laughs> everything is mixed half the epoxy is glued in and then we figure out holy cow we forgot something right yeah, try to get it in. Think twice before doing something and then it should work. Yeah, cut I twice. cut it three times already, it's still too short. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay do. Yeah, let's do it. So the surface preparation is the best I could do. All the parts are ready. We dry fitted them a couple of times. Everything is perfect. Let's hope the best do the job. So now we put some thickened epoxy on it after we coated it once with regular unsickened epoxy and there's quite a bunch of epoxy on it so after we push it up with the jacks it will squeeze out and fill all gaps. They're coming. This gap is almost closed already. Two more millimeters, one eighth. Done.
It's just 20 past 3, but we are ready already. Everything is glued in, the beams are in, the wooden uh, shims are in, everything is epoxy in with plenty of epoxy. Now it has to cure and hopefully it will stick. But it worked out good and I'm very positive about it. So we will see. Now I let it sit for a couple of days so it can really cure before I open the scissor jacks and slowly put pressure on it. We'll see. Thank you very much for your help. Welcome. It was awesome. You get the gold medal in mixing epoxy. <laughs> yeah. Good. How many how many cups you mix together together today? I was just thinking about this maybe maybe uh, quarter of gallon. Oh, more. More. I think more than half in a gallon. No. Because uh, the, the epoxy was pretty at least three quarters or what full, and it's almost empty now. So. Yeah, it was a lot. Box yeah. you get big arms. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Good. It came out pretty good actually. I'm very happy with the outcome of it. And to make sure I'm not... And to make sure that the beam itself is just compressing on the new stainless steel foundation, I'm going to soak it, to penetrate it with epoxy. I drilled a couple small holes so I can put my syringe in. Mixed 209 hardener with the epoxy so it's a very slow hardener so it has time to really go into the structure and not not curing too fast and i was heating up the whole beam before i started work so a warm structure a warm wood will soak in the epoxy way better than a cold one especially when it cools down so i have the heater running for a couple hours already and this the wood is really warm so when it's warm, first it dries, but I'm drying it for weeks now. But it will soak epoxy way better. I don't want to thin this epoxy here too much. I did thin it on the other beam, but I had smaller holes. Now I have some big holes. I mean, I can just pour it on over here and I drilled a quarter inch holes here. Just to make sure I can penetrate the whole beam. So now I'm mixing epoxy, then I switch off the heater and apply the epoxy.
So today I'm going to um, release uh, scissor jacks and hopefully everything stays in place where it is. So the work wasn't for the bin, but I'm pretty confident that it's it's uh, it will be good. Yeah, I put plenty of epoxy into the beams. They're pretty much soaked with epoxy, and it looks good. So. Let's do it. I hope everything stays in where it is right now. It's not moving. Worst thing would be the load is back on the beam. The beam gets pressure, lowers itself, and all the epoxy breaks. That would be worst case, but I doubt. And I hope it don't. Number one. Number two. Sounds good. That looks super good. I'm very happy about it. It's exactly like I wanted it to be. No cracking, no nothing. It just, I undid the uh, um, scissor jacks and nothing moved. Very good. All the work came out pretty good uh, already. So I think I'm doing the right thing here. Yeah, I was busy the last days. Yeah, I was either working on my own or my brother Frank helped me with uh, with the beams, lifting it up. That was just, it's a two-man job. If you need epoxy, that much epoxy, you have to have someone who is mixing it for you permanently. I mean, you can just apply one cup of epoxy and during that he's mixing the other one so you can go straight smooth into it, glue it all in, let it cure all at the same time. That's the best possible um, treatment you can do. It's, I think, way stronger than it used to be and that it has to be. I did a rough calculation on the load and with around 300 kilograms estimated weight of the, of the mizzen, plus the tension I put on over the shrouds and, you know, kinetic movement from from the sea and from waves and from wind gust and stuff I think there won't be any more pressure than one ton on it so if I divide it by four one of these bases have to hold 250 kilograms each and I think it will last the angle steels would bend a millimeter even if there's two tons on it I they're overkill. I just bought them a bit bigger, so um, doesn't matter what happens; they won't bend. But the gluing, the epoxy, this is the weakest spot, I think. So I had to make sure everything is as good as possible. Doesn't matter um, if it's more work or not. So this was quite a big task, and it took me quite a while to get in the mood for this and uh, luckily I had so much time because I needed to dry them anyway and they weren't dry um, so I had a couple of weeks time to do it I want to say thank you to everybody out there who left a command or clicked the thumbs up button who subscribed to my channel and especially to those guys who donated a couple of bucks towards my way thank you very much for this it helped me a lot. It gave me confidence in what I'm doing. It's it's warm. It's warming my heart when I see that you you just like what I do and you believe in me. And this is great. And I can't express my my um, 
feelings more than a big thank you very much for this. And if you're not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you leave a like. If you want to say something, I'm happy to read all your comments and I'm trying to answer all of them. Let me know how do you, how do you um, think about my solution. And yeah, thank you very much. See you next week. Aloha. Thank you.